Okay, we're going to be reviewing the disassembly of the 4-inch uh, 4-ALF Apollo Backflow Preventer. To start, you take the clamp off of the lid. All you need is a uh, flathead screwdriver to take the lid off. Once when you had the, have the lid off, now you have access to the internals of the, of the backflow. And what you have is that you've got ears here that are part of the clip. The stainless steel clip so all you have to do is squeeze those together and then pull the clip out okay um, once when you have the clip out just jiggle the the back uh, the check a little bit and then there's a stainless steel back ring which you'll pull out and set off to the side the clip and the back ring are the same for the front for the first check and the second check and you just pull out the check all together. What you have remaining inside the backflow is a uh, collar which has been welded in. This isolates the check from the body of the stainless steel unit. So in case the body is, is warped, uh, the check uh, can be easily uh, uh, removed and replaced. There is a um, a, a, a groove right here, which is where the uh, clip is uh, put into. Uh, what you need to check once when this is uh, the, the check itself is out, what you need to inspect is make sure there's no debris in this area right here all the way around. Also, there's no damage uh, chips or anything of that sort to the collar itself. That will ensure that the uh, check can seat back in completely. Now, to put the check back, you take the check, you put it in at a slight angle. It can rest in just like that, very simply. Turn it, and then what you're gonna see is that you're gonna push with your hand to where it's gonna seat. Let me do that again. It's gonna be out like this, and it's gonna go in with a, the, the, the bottom slightly first, and then the top will clip right in, click right in just like that. Once when you have that and that is fully, oop, there, now it's fully seated. Okay, you need to make sure that's the case. You grab the outside of the backflow and push with your hand. No need to use a board or any other uh, leverage device, you know, to push that back in. You may do damage to the unit. So you take the stainless steel back ring, place that in so it's seated. Hold it with your right hand. That's what I'm doing right now. And then... I take with my left hand, reach all the way down into the groove down in the bottom and clip, make sure that the clip is in place, put it in and then I rotate the, the ears to make sure that it's fully in place. Now you've completely replaced uh, and put back in the, the backflow, the, the check uh, for the first check. The second check is done exactly the same way. Good.